You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Can you hear me now? Remember those commercials? Can you hear me now? It should be good. Um, I had this place, if you guys watched my last video that I put out, I had, my whole studio has been like disassembled and I reassembled it uh, because I was working a huge event, which I was describing, but you couldn't hear me talking about it. So we should be good. I forgot to hook up one crucial thing to make all this operation be able to work so you can hear me. So let me know if you can, if you can't hear me. 
Um, but yeah, so yeah, I guess I've wrapped up that huge event, uh, and it's taken up so much time that I haven't been able to do any live streams. But the, the, don't you worry, I believe, I think I found, found a solution to it. So stay tuned next week, hopefully, hopefully I can commit to a day. I'm pretty sure Wednesdays, 3 p.m. is going to be the streaming days, but we'll see. The, the job I have, my day job I should say, uh, is taking up a lot of my time this month so far. So hopefully, one, it's good it's, it's that way. I, I like working that job, but it's taking a lot of uh, my time away from doing live streams here on the channel. So, uh, yeah. Oh, cool. We can hear me. Woohoo! You can hear me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I am a live stream pro. <laughs> That's the company I work for, live stream pros. So, I know what I'm doing sometimes, not, not always. Um, I forgot, like, like basically to forget to plug in the microphone to your camera. Um, yeah, this whole place has been disassembled and reassembled twice this month, actually. Um, because the thing I disassembled, they they said they needed, then they didn't need, so I hooked it back up, and then they said they didn't they didn't actually need it, so then um, I put it back. <laughs> this box doesn't stay, but this is what we're talking about today. We're not talking about studios. We're talking about this, the elephant in the room, SX70 film. And I want to get this out of the way real quick right at the beginning, but I would love to have an open conversation, open chat about this topic. One, the main thing, I'm not saying to stop using SX-70 film and it should go away. Let's just get that out there right away. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys and gals have, were leaving some comments saying, that was a great video, but what you're doing is irresponsible. Um, I was getting a lot of hate from it. And I think you guys missed the point of the video, or it was just my fault for not clearly talking about the true intention of that video, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, let's let, let's get into it. Please leave some leave some comments. Let's have a very open conversation about it. I'm pretty transparent. Um, but yeah, so not too long ago, uh, beginning of the month, I want to say. And the reason why I wasn't able to address it faster was because I was working that event. I uploaded that video the first day of the event that I was working, I think it was. Um, it was how to use 600 film inside SX-70 cameras. Uh, and one of the options that you can do is send in your camera to be converted to shoot 600 film. And that's what I have not actually done. I bought one that was already converted. But that's what I want to do with this one. I haven't done it yet. But, you know, this actually shoots 600 film natively. Right out of the gate. No ND filters required. No f other fancy things you have to do. This one doesn't. This shoots SX-70 film. And if I want to use 600 film, I have to throw an ND filter on there to compensate for the um, ISO difference. It's not a big deal. And I went over the pros and cons to shooting um, uh, 600 versus SX-70 film. And apparently somewhere in there, it was lost in translation that you guys thought I was advocating that Polaroid stop making SX-70 film. That's not what I was doing at all. Uh, I was just talking about another subject that doesn't get talked about a lot. And now I guess I understand why. <laughs> but um, I feel uh, we should talk about everything and anything, with, especially with hobbies that you're into. They're, don't ignore stuff. Uh, and... One of the options that you have out there is to convert a camera. You don't have to do it. I wasn't trying to get you to do it and convince you to do it. But there's a lot of a lot of topics and things uh, that are things I would like to address and talk about too. So uh, yeah, let's get into it in just a second. <laughs> See the comments rolling through. Uh, what would you think if Polaroid stopped selling SX-70 film and started including filters with 600 film? See, that is a great thing right there okay it's a great little segue not really but kind of into this thing that I mainly want to talk about SX-70 film is great it's not for me it may be for you and that's fantastic SX-70 film is the same as 600 film not really though uh, that was one thing I, I, I forgot to mention in the video um, and I almost purposely left it out kind of because I didn't want to go too crazy technical because a lot of the average people out there that are going to learn this um a hobby like they 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 need to know certain stuff but i don't want to confuse people um and start talking about chemicals and formulas and um uh, and, and tones and things like that in a video talking about like how to use that film in other cameras it didn't really kind of line up that i thought that's like a whole other conversation sx70 film is a lower iso right 
so you have to use it in super bright situations um there are some perks to using it with you know bright situations like the the, the, the color is a little more um uh, vibrant as people say i personally have not experienced that but they do use a different formula for it so i guess that uh, there, there is a way to do it and i, I do want to do a video experimenting with that shooting with two cameras one shooting sx70 film and one shooting 600 film same time of day same position and take a photo and see if you guys can tell the difference um but that that that's just one other thing that people were bringing up and uh, really hating on me for uh, is not mentioning that formula my my videos i try to talk to the person that has never done it before um that in this hobby uh, because we want to get more people into this therefore our hobby can stick around longer right because more people are coming into it spending the money and the, the, the company is going to be doing really well in theory right and then they continue to produce stuff uh such as film and new cameras and other in, in innovations and they'll stick around now, therefore we get to enjoy our hobby with more people involved it's great where it's not so great is if somebody that's just starting out and they find one of these cameras laying in their you know their parents or their grandparents house and like oh this looks really cool because you know analog technology and you know vintage stuff is kind of in right now it's a, kind of a trend so they're gonna buy one of these cameras go to the store and let's say they go to Walmart or Best Buy Target any, any, sort, of, any sort of big retail store and they're they're not gonna know that it, what type of film it uses right so they're gonna grab the cheapest film that they can they're gonna see I type film is cheaper Oh, but it says right on there, not, not for vintage. So they're gonna grab the blue box, 600 film, because it says for vintage cameras. And they're gonna put it in this camera and not know that it, it's the wrong film. Because SX-70 film is a little hard to come by. And if they are shooting that and, and the photos are coming super overexposed and they think in their head, I just wasted $20 on, and I've gotten zero photos, they're never gonna come back to it. Unless they get told later down the road by somebody and even then they're, they're gonna be a little sour. Because they're like, I've already spent that money on, on that film and it got wasted. So the, the chances of them coming back are not as high. So 600 film, in a way, it, that's the stuff that's most popular, right? So it, you can't get six or SX70 film from the big t retailers other than uh, B&H. But if you don't live in Manhattan, you can't just go to B&H and get it, right? You have to order it. Or you can order it directly from Polaroid. There's not a lot of other options out there. There's are some, you know, smaller um, um, camera shops that tend to carry SX70 film, but m the majority that I've been to, I ask about SX70 film, and like it's not a top seller for us, so we don't stock it. We stock iType and 600 film. Um, so right there it tells you that there's the market for SX70 film is already pretty narrow, and I get where people are coming from and and saying how. Like, oh, you're making a video to convince people to stop using it. Well, that's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> but I get where you're coming from, and you're scared that this, if you, the thing that you love is being like, hey, don't use it. If that makes sense. Is that making sense? It's it's a supply and demand situation, and then there's a company, and, the, and like the company Polaroid, they're making um, film for everybody right now, except for Spectra, because Spectra, you know, went away. But SX70 film may not be their top sellers, and... They may eventually stop selling it, but isn't that a good thing in a way? I'd rather lose one one thing that's not necessarily being sold to the masses to prolong the company's longevity, right? That's what they did with Spectra Film. So that's kind of where I like where I stand. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Uh, I know it was long-winded. Wow, you gotta get caught up here. <laughs> Comments were flowing. There we go. Uh, since starting last year, I'm getting the SLRs, the photos I've gotten of the same film, have been more crisp with better colors. See, that's what people are saying. I honestly have not experienced that. Uh, I'm guessing it's something with the chemistry Polar is using for each film. They have to use a different chemistry anyway because the light sensitivity of X SX70 film is much, much lower. So it needs more light to expose. So they would have to use something different. But I, I really haven't experienced that. And um, but there, I really haven't shot a ton of SX, SX70 film in my time um, because I don't like the slow shutter speed. And the, mo the pretty much the mass majority of the stuff I shoot is in situations where 
I need the faster shutter speed, you know, from a little bit lower si light situation. Uh, it's super handy and super nice. I just, for me, it works great. But like I said, I am going to do a video soonish this year on comparison. Comparison, side by side, super scientific, no, not super scientific, but a scientific approach to it and see if you guys can actually tell the difference. And maybe, maybe I can prove, prove myself wrong in this situation um, because I haven't quite experienced that. I shot several packs of it in uh, New, uh, New York City. I, I got this, actually, I think this was probably one of the boxes, the last box I ever shot. Um, was I got it from B&H and walked around Manhattan shot some photos I didn't see a difference between that and the 600 that I was also using um, maybe it was just the situations I was in I was it was a super bright sunny day uh, with you know co blue color sky some of the photos were in the um, uh, uh, the countdown uh, like the Brooklyn Bridge that was one of them and I don't know it looks just like a 600 film <laughs> no difference in my opinion uh, but I'll, I'm going to test that and see what I find. Yesterday in Amazon, the SXM film was $20. In my region today, I woke up in the news and now they sell for $36. Yeah, so, okay. Here's the thing about Amazon. The film on there, uh, so uh, Polaroid now, I see, I don't know when they started. I just happened to notice it fairly recently. It is selling on Amazon, which is pretty cool. But they don't really stock SX7 film on there. There is X70 film, SX70 film on there, but it's by other retailers, not Amazon specifically, not Polaroid specifically. It's other people. And what they're doing is uh, supply and demand situation. If there's not a lot of it available, they're adjusting the price for that. Uh, so I've seen uh, Polaroid original branded still Polaroid, uh, ugh, Polaroid 600 film on there for like $60, way over like three years probably expired and they're selling it for a lot of money because there's not a lot of Polaroid original film left that you can buy on Amazon. So the prices are gonna fluctuate all the time on that products, especially with film. Um, and even with Fuji's, I've noticed. Sometimes, even even as a couple of years ago, um, when stock starts uh, dropping, the prices start going up a little bit. So keep that in mind. Yeah, that is, I don't know what was that is that euros pounds is that pounds I don't know my international currency signs very well <laughs> but yeah I'm assuming that's around uh, 20 some American dollars USD uh, probably like 22 US dollars uh, I was saddened by the loss of spectra I do think they are better at 600 than at 670 emulsions interesting I never got to experience that uh, they have yet to capture the magic of the original. Well, now they can't. I don't think they ever will um, because of the formula um, got lost in time, basically. Not really. They, they have the formula, but the, the chemicals to use to be able to make it happen is you can't use them anymore. Um, a lot of it's some of the stuff they use is like outlawed now, even outlawed when Polaroid was around. Um, but they were grandfathered in that they couldn't just tell them to stop making their own product but they're but if they ever stopped making it they couldn't come back making it with the same stuff and so that's what happened when they went bankrupt and then impossible project came in and you, get, you guys probably know that story but they've had to reinvent it essentially so it's probably never going to be what it used to be um which is a bummer but i think it looks and especially the newest stuff they've been putting out in the last year or so Woo! 600 film looks good looks super good uh, i'm very happy with it uh so but yeah, there's that. I never really got to use Spectra that much. I do have a Spectra video coming. A friend of mine let me uh, borrow a camera with film in it. It's crazy expired by now. It was in October he opened the pack and shot two, like, two pictures and then gave me the camera to use and I never did the video. I need to do the video soon. It's on black and white. I'm playing a black and white video. I thought it'd be super fun um, to do a totally black and white um, color, excuse me, color, a black and white film video. Um, I've had that idea for a couple of years, but I've never gotten around to it. Um, Cause I want to have a fun idea. I want to maybe do like a noir video, like like something fun like that, but haven't gotten there yet. Uh, I love SX70 over the 600 and have a fridge full of it ordered directly from Polaroid. Yeah, that is the best way to do it. 
I find it's more predictable and know what I'm gonna get after I take the shot. Uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely buy directly from Polaroid. It's gonna be the the best photos you're gonna get. Um, I do that maybe 60% of the time. Um, I'll go to Walmart, Best Buy, not Walmart, not really Walmart, but Best Buy and Target. Those are my main ones. Um, and I have perfect, I have great results. I've never had, let's see, the, the last time I had an issue was, was actually, I have had an issue on Christmas. I shot a 600 and a two came out. And then um, uh, the last time I had a, a I-type issue, it was from Polaroid Direct. I bought some I-type film and I had one explode on ejection. Just all over in the camera. It was, it was bad. <laughs> and it sucked too because I was doing a, it was a two-week exposure, if you will. Um, it had stuff in my window. It snowed outside. I had a splitter on my camera. Took a shot. Waited like two weeks after the snow was gone. Flipped it and then took them the shot again. Uh, so I wanted to have like a comparison of snow, not snow, because it was sunny out that day. And then when it came out, it, the half of it, the, the half of it, the snow was gone. Like it's, it exploded and didn't even get ejected or exposed. I was so mad. <laughs> it is Euro. Okay, cool, 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 cool. $32 American? Woo! Yeah, I'd go Fuji that route, unfortunately. I don't think I could do, ever go pay that much. Uh, but I think it's kind of a vicious cycle, though. Arguing that one should buy 600 because there's less available for retailers is going to help them demand. So, see, that, 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 that that's a great point. Absolutely. Now, look at it from, like I was saying earlier, brand new person that has never, ever in their life gotten a shot in photography, right? And they want to which one do you think they're going to go for? Probably the iType, right? But if they find a camera and, and they clean out their grandparents' house or their parents' house, it's probably going to be one of these or a box camera. It may even be an SX-70 box camera too. They're they're probably just going to look up Polaroid film, do a quick Google search and see like, hey, where's, where can I buy Polaroid film? That's probably, they don't know anything. They're, they're, they're naive, you know? Um, I'm guilty of it when I first started. I didn't know. Um, and so if one person thinks that way, the guy I think there's going to be other people thinking that way. And we want those people to get hooked on the hobby because then that means more revenue for Polaroid. Um, I'm not advocating for SX-70 film to go away, but the people that are using SX-70 film specifically are the diehards, essentially. People that are super, super into the hobby and they're just either professional photographers or even just amateur photographers, but they are just like... The diehards. I like it for the, the chemistry and all that. Those nitty gritty details, right? A hobbyist or just somebody that's just getting started isn't going to care about that. They're going to care about one thing and one thing only. Pushing that button and getting a picture. Uh, so if they put the wrong film in the wrong camera, they're not going to buy it anymore. They're just going to be out. They'll probably switch to Fuji or something. So that's just a different approach and different thought that I want you guys and other people in this, in this community to kind of take into consideration. We have to almost cater to the to the, the newbies, but not get not say stop making one thing. But I get your point of like if more people are using one thing, the other thing could go away. But that's that's just the way of the world. That's just the how things happen. Um, it it could be tomorrow. It could be five years from now. It could be twenty years from now. Um, who knows? There could be a shift. Maybe everyone one day stops, wakes up, and says, "You know what? I don't want to shoot six hundred film anymore. I'm going to shoot SX seventy film." And then 600 film could disappear because not very many people are buying it. Um, but I don't ever see Polaroid stopping ever, ever stopping making SX-70 film. I just don't because there's just too many cameras out there. They're the best cameras they have out there shoots that. So I don't see that ever happening. However, <laughs> like I said earlier, there are, uh, people out there that want to shoot this with this camera but don't want to shoot with a slow shutter there's options out there and my channel is a avenue for you guys to learn about all approaches all angles of it um yeah i think that's well the whole point of what i was trying to say <laughs> we're at least three italians here nice they, 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 i like it i like it 
Uh, is this a SX70 live only? What do you mean? This is a SX70 live only. No, we're just talking about a, um, a video that I put out and a lot of people uh, didn't like it. <laughs> not, not, not a lot of people didn't like it. It was a lot of people uh, didn't, I don't think, I, th I think my point maybe wasn't come across uh, very well. And so I wanted to just address and go over some comments and concerns that you guys may have. Uh, and we can talk about whatever you want. If you have questions about other stuff, feel free. Um, but SX-70 film is kind of the focus. Sure. Uh, the store where I live almost exclusively sells expired film. That's pretty cool. Are they selling it for, you know, discount or more? Some places do. Um, and usually it's the, the, the uh, special frames s stuff usually obviously goes up in value. Um, there, uh, what was it? Um, I found recently... Um, it was Duochrome. What's his name? Uh, I've been there. <laughs> so Jack White, uh, he has his recording studio. What's it called? Third Man Records? Third Man Records. They did an Impossible Project, uh, or it was an Impossible Project at the time. They did a little a special uh, Duochrome fr uh, film with them. Uh, and that stuff's like super expensive, even though it's just regular Duochrome. But crazy expired. So... But it's so, so expensive. So I'm just curious to see if what uh, his or what that store sells theirs expired film for. Talking about everything. But yeah, definitely talking about the SX-70 film video for sure. Uh, you definitely have a valid point. I would think that it is a challenge of this hobby. There are so many formats to choose from. Because yeah, sure, definitely. Um, and as if somebody just starting starts getting hooked. Like for me, I, when I very first started... Um, well, I mean, I mean, I shot some of it when I was a little kid, but not very much at all. I was hooked then, but I never got to shoot it because my parents were like, no, it's too expensive. Because there was three of us, like kids-wise, and another expense at the time, even though it was cheaper then. Uh, but just still, it's another expense. So I never got to do it. I always wanted to. And then in like 2017, 2018-ish, um, I finally was like, you know, I'm, I really want to get into this. So I bought an Insex camera. That's where I started and just kind of went from there. Uh, and um, yeah, obviously I'm hooked. <laughs> uh, I think there's some people that don't have the money to convert their camera. So using SX-70 film is the only choice. That's a good angle too. That is something to, to, um, to do. And in the video that I was, that I did, um, it wasn't just about converting cameras. It was just avenues and ways to shoot 600 film in SX-70 SX cameras. Um, and one of them was converting. Other ones were the ND filters over the pack and or ND filters over the lens. Like the Mint makes that attachment that has the ND filter for it. And uh, there's another company that has that little insert, um, whatchamacallit, uh, ND filter. It just goes in the lens. And then I also talked about the Mint flash bar you can use with the SX-70 cameras with no ND filter on the pack. You can actually use that flash um, on half power or that first little half moon and you can shoot 600 film in it, which is pretty cool. So that was that's what the video was about. And one of the things was you can send your camera in to be converted and you don't have to worry about any of it. Just put in film and go. Or you can buy an SLR 680 if you have the cash. But uh, it's not too expensive to, to do because you can pick up an SX-70 camera off like Facebook Marketplace or eBay anywhere from you know 50 to 150 bucks that's gonna be your range um, uh, and I found some good deals in the past but to have your camera converted it's like 80 to 100 bucks or something like that so let's say you spend 100 on that and you spend another 100 so 200 bucks on a camera that's gonna be three to four plus hundred dollars cheaper than SLR 680 and that's in, you know, in on par with Polaroid's current flagship camera, which is what 140, 150. So that's not too much more. Yeah, it's a better camera, but yeah, um, I see your point. Not everyone is going to do that. Uh, have you explored the option of, of an external battery for the SX70? Been curious and cheaper way to do it instead of converting battery battery. Oh yeah, um, actually yeah, um. I was actually just watching a video yesterday about that. Um, I've known of companies. There's this one called the Power Ranger, I think. 
but it goes on the bottom of your SXA cameras and you can batteries oh no did I freeze I froze let's do that thing again I wonder what, what's going on with that. Hopefully it's not like here. But anyway, there's these uh, attachments you can stick on the bottom of your camera. And uh, there's some you can use the 600 use batteries, you slide them in. And then there's one that has a rechargeable battery, which is more ideal. And you can um, just, then you can use like eye type film and whatever, whatever you wanted to use in the camera. Um, and it's not even that big of a deal to hook those up. And I've been curious about uh, looking in and doing that myself. But I don't know too much about it. Um, even converting the camera your, yourself, it, it, it's, it's only a small little resistor, as far as I know from some of the research I did. But you have to be confident enough to take your camera apart and solder in this new resistor to convert it. Um, that's, as much, that's as much as my knowledge in that world goes on that side of it. It is intriguing though. Yeah, <laughs> you did. There you go. Yeah. And I have a. F so that you, you guys are. Uh, um, that's not the last you'll see of that scanner. Uh, I have a really, really cool video, fun idea. Literally today I came up with um, that that's going to play a factor on how to, oh, should I just show you now or retest test it? I might show you guys later, but on how to uh, copy your Polaroids, one-to-one -one scale, and you have an actual physical copy. I teased a little bit of it in that video, but today, just today it hit me. I'm like, I have an idea and I came up with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so. Uh, I'll share that later, I guess, but uh, that's not the last you're going to see of that scanner. I actually really do like that scanner. It's pretty cool. Uh, I remember in the 90s, if you bought three packs of 600 film, you got a free camera. <sighs> see, that's a deal. Uh, one of those like 600 box cameras. That's a deal right there. See, I don't know why the cameras aren't free. It's like printers. They should give away printers for free because they get you on the ink. And in this world, it's, it's film. It's just giveaway cameras. That would be cool if they did like a cheap, like just basic, no bells and whistles, like just. Man, and now it's doing it a lot now. This really sucks. Come on. Oh, I wonder if I have too many. Um, ooh, I think I know. <laughs> I think I know I did. I watched original film on this exact film in the Denver airport. Nice. What were we doing in Denver, or the airport anyway? Was it a layover? I've been I've been to that airport a few times in my travels uh, big fan here oh thanks I appreciate it uh, your channel helped me a lot on understand Polaroids and last week I got my first Polaroid one set plus yes that's what I like to hear the camera it, the camera in general that's that's cool I like that camera as you guys know um, it's, it's great it's my favorite it's my second favorite iType camera my first favorite is the Stranger Things one step two camera that's my favorite one and then the one set plus great camera great camera uh, i put one of those yeah the power supply that's what it's called on my slr 680 the other day so i could shoot uh, i type film and reduce the cost of chemistry would be better s670 film is still my favorite yeah yeah it's all right <laughs> no i was kidding um s670 film I, I like it's okay like i don't I don't want people to think I'm like anti SX70 film. I'm not. Um, it serves a purpose and I like to have it around for sure. Everyone has their own preference though. I prefer 600 film in my, in my cameras. I love that fast shutter. Speaking of SLR 680, mine, AKA the beast, uh, won't close. And I think I know why. And I do have a video that I was gonna make. I might make it a live stream, trying to fix it. Uh, that's why I've got these. Pretty sure this will fix it. I think the battery connection is corroded because uh, it won't register a pack anymore. Uh, so I've got to do some repairs to it. So right now it's just stuck in the open position. I haven't been able to use it in like three weeks, more, maybe a month. Uh, about two mint cameras and a scanner. Wow, you're welcome. So, sorry to your wallet though. <laughs> what cameras, what mint cameras did you buy? Um, did you buy an SLR 670S? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I had one. I sold it. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, but I do want the RF70. Still, that's still on my list. 
I don't know if it's gonna happen for a while. I got too many things, bills and things to worry about right now. But I do want one, one day, one day. Uh, I saw my cheap camera. Polaroid goes great, look, it's right there. There it is, right there. It's great, it's a fun little camera. I hope they innovate that this year. I hope there's another model. I have a feeling they're gonna go like, oh, here's a here's a color line. You can choose a red or blue or yellow or black version of it. It's probably what they're gonna do this year. Next year, though, I hope that they will bring in another version of the Go that uses the same film format. Be sweet. I want my folding SX70 Mini Go camera. Gosh, one day I would I would shoot that stuff so much. I would I would I would just. I would, Seriously, it wouldn't even have to be an SLR. They can do the Model 3 version of the SX-70 camera and, and just shrink it down to shoot Go Film. Woo! That would be amazing. Polaroid, get on that. There's somebody in my Discord that was talking about making one. Uh, um, so hopefully hopefully they come up with something cool. Because that would be awesome. Uh, so do you think SX-70 films suck? No, I don't. Uh, but how would you rank the different types of film? I don't think it sucks. I just haven't noticed that big of a difference, as some people say. Some people swear by, like, oh, it's much vivid and brighter colors. That's why I shoot it. But I've shot back-to-back. -back. Same locations, like I was saying earlier, in Manhattan. And I didn't notice a difference. However, they weren't the same picture from the same position of the same subject, you know. So I am going to do a video on that soon to com do a complete comparison. I might do... Yeah, that would have to. I'm just thinking of ways to do that. I can get into that later, but I just haven't noticed a big of a difference. That's all. And I don't like the slow shutter speed. That's it. Um, love the channel. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, but I've never really gotten over the line of actually getting into instant photography. Insects Mini is too low res. Insects Mini, yeah, it's true. It's a great entryway, though. Uh, the wide needs a camera that the size of a house or bus. Yeah. Um, I wish Fuji would, would innovate their wide line and put out a, actually like a really good camera. Uh, I don't foresee that happening. Uh, they just released the Evo. Um, and it's finally available in the US and I'm probably going to pick it up and do a review. But um, maybe they'll do a, like a wide Evo version. But they'll probably do a square version first and then maybe a wide they haven't done a single wide camera since 2015, I think, the, the, uh, the, the 300. I like the wide. The wide's great. Um, actually, I have some right here. <laughs> here's my buddy Dave. Dave, you in here? You're usually around. But here, here's, here's Dave. I love the wide film. It's super good. I don't know why these are sitting here, but there's some photos. Um, my favorite is shooting Polaroids, obviously, and then... It's not a real cigarette. I was dressed as Jim Hopper from Stranger Things. <laughs> but uh, my favorite is obviously Polaroid, and then Insects Wide is my next favorite uh, film format. But yeah, that was when I visited him in Ohio. But I, yeah, I wish, uh, I wish, I wish Fuji would get on a good camera. But there is the Mint, Mint RF70. Yeah, Mar the yeah the Mint RF70. But it's a thousand bucks. You can probably pick up a used one for eight hundred. Uh, come on, push! Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I think a wide Evo in the making. Yes, I, I eventually they might get there. And I'm wondering if Polaroid's gonna um, do that too. Not with wide, obviously, but do a, a combo, a digital film hybrid camera. That'd be pretty cool. Um, they, who knows? Maybe that will be the next Go camera. I have a feeling that's what it's gonna be. Uh, but I can dream about getting my little mini SX-70, right? <laughs> I feel like at least they fold down pocketable. Which one? I don't know. I feel like at least they fold down. Which one are you talking about? The, uh, the um, you, were, you were talking to Rico, so I don't know. Uh, can I make a video suggestion? Yes, you may. Uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of Polaroid slash photography newbies like me out there. Uh, you can make a video explain in depth the manual mode of that Polaroid app. Oh, sure. Um, that's a good one, actually. That is a good one. Um, 
It's pretty simple to use. Um, I don't, like how beginner wise, like somebody that's never shot a like a camera in general, but like they, like they don't understand uh, shutter speed, f stop, and stuff like that. Because um, I can go that approach. That'd be an interesting video. I just won't use that other camera. You, you know what I'm talking about? Because that sensor does not work <laughs> for manual <laughs> mode. Uh, uh, maybe a trick and tips video for long exposure night. That actually, that's actually happening. Um, I've already shot a bunch of photos because um, I am not the best nighttime photographer. Um, but I did get lucky not too long ago. Where is it? I want to show you because honestly, I'm still like super hyped over it. And it's right now my favorite photo I've taken this year and is probably going to be my favorite photo of the year potentially. So let me grab it. It's right at my desk. But it's a nighttime photo. I got super lucky. Uh, all right. Here, it's in this stack. I was driving home one night and I was getting gas and I drove around the backside because I was like, I, there was always a shot I wanted to get because I thought it always looked kind of cool. And I, this is what I took. Boom, look at that. Oh wait, hang on. Post on Instagram so you guys may have seen it before. Um, but I don't know, the, I think I got lucky. I was like super far away and I was surprised how this came out. There's no way you could have done this. Well, you may have been able to get this with, S with SX-70 film. I don't know, but this is with my converted sonar camera right there. I did put it on a tripod, but I didn't need it. It fired so fast and this is what I got. And I think it came out freaking sweet. It was super foggy too that night. That's why I got these blooms of the, the lights on there. It was thick fog. And yeah, I'm behind a fence. That's why there's these fence lines. So cool, favorite photo. But yeah, I uh, wanna do a nighttime photography shoot, but I just haven't because I've never, I've never, uh, never been very good at it. Uh, even with manual mode, it's just, I don't know, something I've, I've never been able to quite achieve the shots I want. But I do want to do that video. It is very informative. It, it can help a lot of people, including myself. <laughs> oh, that's what you're talking about. Oh, no, go back. That's what you're talking about. The RF folds, and yes, it, it does fold. Um, it, or co more collapses. It, like, opens and pulls out. I don't know. But, yes, I do want that camera. I know you got one. Hey, wait, wait, what time is it? Okay. In one hour, I have to push record on my other computer, my um, uh, my company, that my day job. We're doing uh, this virtual event uh, on WTF is an NFT. And it's a big celebrity event. There's um, Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, I think that's Mila Kunis. Um, Tyra Banks is there. Yeah, it's a kind of this huge event. Uh, so I have to record uh, so like a backup copy. So at, it starts at 4.30. So if we're still streaming at 4.30, you guys, be my reminder just in case. I got to push a one button, hit record. <laughs> so anyway, back to the good stuff. Uh, uh, what type of film do you dislike the most? <sighs> dislike. Um... That's the thing. I don't know if I technically dislike any of them. Like, I have different preferences. They all serve a purpose. Maybe Insects Mini, just because of the size. Um, but then again, I like having that because when I go to, like, family like gatherings, I give that to my nephew to run around and shoot with. Even though this year, for Christmas, um, I let him use the wide camera because I was out of mini film. And I went to Walmart, which is usually my go-to for mini film because it's the cheapest. But they were all out. So I gave him the wide camera and he, he are those over here? They're really funny. He did a couple good ones and some of them, the framing was just off, like really bad. No, they're over there somewhere. Um, but he did take this one of me on Christmas. So this, this was him. He did a really good job on this one. <laughs> yeah, that, that one, my, uh, my little nephew, he's six now, seven. He took that. So I like doing insects mainly just for those reasons, but I don't really shoot it myself anymore. Um, but even then, I still I still find a purpose for it. Because uh, a friend Dave, where are you, man? Usually, where are you at? Where's the nop top? 
Uh, he did that video last year on the um, key picks, that mobile phone scanner, basically like a Polaroid lab, but in the f uh, form of a um, uh, Insax Mini version. It's super cool. No batteries whatsoever. It's an actual camera. Like you, you take a picture and it, has, it does. It's really really sweet. But he was like, hey, you can use this as a macro camera. And so you can get some super cool, unique photos uh, with that as a macro camera instead of like the phone on the top and you're taking a picture of your phone screen. And so I do like shooting mini with that, on, on, with that because I think it's really cool. But yeah, I don't really have a, like a, a format that I, hate, that I don't like. They all, have, they all serve a purpose. Wow, there's a lot of them up in here. Ooh, that is a good one. But I don't want to skip both. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Frick. Um, I accidentally closed out. Oops. How do I go back? I closed the comments. How do I get that back? I can't see your comments. Um, okay. Give me, give me 30 seconds. I have to resend the link to the comments. Uh, I'll be right back because I can't see him. <laughs> So sorry about that. Um, what I use uh, for my streaming software is a software called vMix, and they have this social option on it to where I can, you know, do the fun little sending comments on screen and whatnot. And I have my iPad over here. That can you see them? Well, it's a web browser, and so I actually like hit the X of my web browser, and it, and it uh, closed the tab. <laughs> That's not fun. <laughs> so. So there we go. Uh, there was a good comment. And that's why I was trying, trying to go back to it. Uh, where was it? Now I, gotta, now I have to like scroll back down in there. We're talking, okay, there. Okay, there we go. Boom. Sorry for like, sorry for getting to this late. Uh, Glad I caught the stream. Are you accepting camera donations? I have a SX7 converted to 600 with a power supply for iType that I don't. Yes, I would love to. I would love to use that um, as uh, for a video. That'd be fantastic. And that actually brings me to uh, something I was going to ask you guys today, actually. I think that kind of reminded me. I was going to ask you guys, what if I opened up a P.O. box? Uh, would you guys like be interested in like me doing like a fan mail episode like once a week or something? Like whatever came in the mail that week and do something fun with it. Um, because I like if you guys have seen the video I posted uh, in December, I was going to talk about... Um, uh, new videos that I was going to do this year outside of instant photography. I've kind of like cornered myself in that. Right, Paco? I know. He, he's, he's barking back there. <laughs> and uh, so be, I think it'd be kind of fun if like some weird camera just shows up in the mail. Um, I'm like, oh, this will be fun. And I'll try and, you know, make a video or something with it or film or whatever. Right. And so let me, let me, guys, let me let you guys know your thoughts on that. But yeah, I would love to try that out. It's been on my list for a while. It keeps glitching. Um, it's been on my list where I have to try out that power pack thing. That'd be super cool. That'd be super fun. Um, if you want to get, get in contact with me over on, for now, I guess, on um, Instagram or um, uh, the Discord. Links are in the description for that. As well as merch. Not really. I mean, actually, yeah, there is the website on there. And um, I guess I can do a segue into my book. I have two left. Two. 
you guys want one, they're shipping out. They're in, they're in my hands right now. I have two left. Um, I got these recently, and um, you can, yeah, they're going out. If you buy his order one, they're going out right now. So I'm packing them up tonight and shipping them out tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, another point that Evo does look well co and cool and compact, but it feels like it is. It's a hybrid. It's both. It's neat. It's cool. It's interesting. Um, I do want to try it out. I mean, two hundred dollars though, man. That's, that's like a that's a big that's a that's a leap. That is a leap. Uh, Figures just an instant film formats compared. I kind of kind of done one of those ish. But, that, but maybe I should just do a direct one. I have a whiteboard over on my wall. Actually, it's on the floor right now. <laughs> but um, there's a uh, hundred video ideas written on there. And I think one of the one of those on there is just that. But there's been a few other channels that have done them recently. Um, well, maybe a year ago or so. But that's still kind of fairly recently. And so I try not to just put out the same stuff everyone else is doing. Try to kind of stick to my thing, which sucks in a way. Maybe it's just my own logic. Maybe I should just change it up. But I've come up with some fun ideas that I'm getting ready to do. And then it's other people, other channels, like they'll start doing it. I'm like, oh, shoot, maybe I have to wait to do it. To, so now people think I'm copying them. And you know, come up with your own ideas. So maybe that's just my own. Maybe I just have to get over that. <laughs> Uh, any video on how to use manual mode on the SLR the SLR 670? I'm terrible when it comes to shooting shutter speeds. I don't I, I don't have that camera anymore. I sold it. Um, but my quick tip for you, uh, it would be download a, uh, a light meter app on your phone. There's some free ones. There are some paid ones, but I would stick to. My cat is trying to get behind the blinds. She's gonna fall. We should have a camera over there. You can see her struggle. It's kind of funny. But um, there's some free ones and there's some paid ones of those light meter apps. But uh, I would start there. And you, it's pretty simple. You just choose the shutters, or excuse me, you choose the uh, film type you're using. So if you're using a 670 film, let's say, uh, this has the ISO of, actually that camera, that camera can shoot both. So let's say you're using the SX-70 film. It's the ISO uh, 160. You set that in the app. And then you take a metered shot. You basically take a picture on um, with that app, and it'll tell you the shutter speeds that you should choose for that situation. It's pretty simple to use. Um, that'd be my quick tip for you on how to do that. Did I go over that in that video I did? I don't remember. That's the video from a little while ago. Oh, she made it. She didn't fall. I don't know how she's going to get down. That's funny. Polaroid uh, should just pull the now off the shelves. I agree. Uh, <laughs> it almost made me give up on the instant photography without frustrating it. Exactly. And that's a great example of what I was saying earlier when it comes to SX-70 film. People not knowing that, that these cameras use it. They're going to put in another type, right? And get frustrated and discouraged from continuing to shoot. So that, that was one of the main points from earlier. Anyway. Stacy's lurking. We hung out. Uh, when did we hang out? When was that? Friday? We hung out Friday. She's local. Oh, you're going to watch the BFF. Yeah. At 4.30, I got to hit record. <laughs> In about, about, what, 40 minutes or something? I have, I have a laptop ready to go. I guess I got to hit record. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suck at that also with the One Set Plus uh, and with the F-Stops. I would love to have a video exploring ex explaining those types of things, especially how the, the works in Polaroids. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can do that. That's pretty good. Like I said, that, I mean, that's a prime example of a great video for this channel because I try to talk to the newbies in, into uh, this. That's ultra. Not I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's like an old... Not, I don't want to say ultra. But that's like getting... What's Who's that channel? It's like get out of... No, it's Tony and Chelsea. It's a photography channel. Tony and Chelsea Northrop. They teach you how to get out of manual or get how to get out of auto with manual. They have a they have like a fun catchphrase with it. Um, but that's kind of a, I guess a approach I could take with this in a way because these are all like super automatic cameras. That's a fun video. That one I should get on quick. 
found your channel recently and really enjoy your content. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, brought, bought, bought your book because of it. You bought my book? Which book? Which one? I have two. I have the one that's literally right and available now. There's only two left. They're limited edition. Um, and then, um, and then I've got three left of my first book. This one you got? Did you get this one? This one's a good one. Yeah, got, yeah I've got three and two of these. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll talk about that in a second. I have a fun thing I want to talk about. I'm all over the place today. It's been a crazy, crazy few weeks. So busy. I can't wait till my niece gets a little older so I can let her take some photos with the cameras because she's always so fascinating, right? And that is where Insects Mini comes in. Give them one of those cameras, they screw it up. It's not like a too much of a major cost. Go to Walmart, you can buy a two pack of uh, Insects Mini. I haven't been there since the announcement of Ray's film prices, but they were $13 for a two pack. So you get 20 photos for 13. Um, I'm guessing if they increase it, it's going to be right around the $14, $15 range. Still not bad. And you, it's like guilt-free. Let them let them shoot with the, the film. Right, Paco? I know. <laughs> There's a dog outside barking. He's not having a good time with that. Are you? I know. You want to come say hello? Nope. He immediately dodged that. He's a shy boy. Uh, oh, I bought an SLR 70 Nor and an SX70 MIG Edition. Oh, oh. <sighs> Go Hawks. You're in Seattle apparently. But man, that's probably like I mean I don't want I don't want to call you out, but that's probably like two grand. <laughs> Woo! Oh the TL actually, no. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot. I don't want to add it up. Maybe you don't even want me to add it up. That's a lot of money right there. I always thought it would be cool if uh, you did a stream reacting to other instant photographers photos and maybe give tips and tricks that's actually pretty cool um i i have i have a discord and we it's growing uh pretty quickly which is awesome i love chatting with you guys um but i haven't really like done much with it and so in february i'm gonna start doing um uh, hopefully monthly it depends on my schedule but i think i, I could probably pull off monthly uh, start doing photo contests just to win some small prizes like maybe an Amazon gift card or a pack of film or, or something like that. And, um, I want to start including, uh, or using those photos maybe to, uh, on live streams and also in, or at the end of my YouTube videos. Cause if you guys have ever made it to an end of my videos, you may notice there's a f new photo every single time at the end. They're my photos. I think it'd be super cool to have your guys' photos in my videos at the end. Just have maybe like a little carousel of cycling of fun, you know, cool pictures from you guys. Um, that's been on the brain, an idea that I'm trying to figure out a cool, unique way of doing. Uh, so maybe each month's winner goes in my or in a video or something. I don't know. But yes, that is something I want to do. That is pretty fun. Uh, glad I caught the stream. Are you accepting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I already get this? Oh, you must have missed it. Um, yes. I would love to try that out. Um, I, uh, if you want to get in contact with me, either on the Discord or maybe through uh, Instagram, let's chat. Let's make it happen. Uh, and I'm thinking of uh, opening up a PO box uh, for people to, you know, send stuff that I can make videos with for you guys, or just have fun laughs. I love that stuff. Me and my friend Dave do that for each other. He'll randomly send me something just. Just, I'll just get a package in the mail and it's always something crazy, funny, and weird. And he sent me something I can't wait to show you. I'll wait um, that you guys will get to see. Uh, so I think it'd be fun to incorporate you guys in that as well. And I'm going to do, if you guys saw my Christmas special, if you will, um, I'm going to start sending you guys fun packages. Uh, I think that'd be fun. So get in contact with me um, for now on either Instagram or Discord. Links are in the description. Thank you. Anyway, I really appreciate that. That'd be super fun because I've wanted to check it out myself. Uh, yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, it would. Uh, would you prefer the Sonar or Alpha 1? Or an Alpha 1? Um, I like the Sonar. It helps me because I'm solo. Uh, if I'm taking pictures like of myself, I, you know, I do selfies every now and then, portrait shots. Sonar makes things so much easier. 
I just throw that on a remote trigger and or a, yeah, like a remote button, take a picture. So much faster. Um, so sonar would be great. Um, I but don't. I definitely love like th these. I, the one the reason I want to con convert this is because I love to carry it more and shoot it because this is so. This is smaller. Look at this. You know, so much smaller. You fit in your pockets. I think someone asked me that earlier, and I missed that comment. Like, which one do I, which camera I prefer more? It's a tough call. They each, they each serve a different purpose. Uh, Friday, Sunday, whatever. I don't remember. Was it Sunday? I lose track of time. It's been a crazy week, month. It's, it's been a crazy month. Crazy month. Oh, you got the first book. Yeah, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. This is my very first book. And someone left a comment. In a video recently, um, <laughs> reminding me basically how to make books and where I get that get them made. Um, and I, I do plan on doing that. I want to do more tutorial videos like that, uh, you know, like Photoshop tutorials or because um, I just did one recently, my previous video on that scanner uh, video, and I think they're really fun. And I, I want I want you guys to make your own books. But yeah, and this was my first attempt, and I like it. It was fun. Um, I learned a lot. It's super cool. It's not just instant photography. There's, you know, funny, weird stuff in here, like 360 pictures. Just people. This book's about you. And interactive. You can, I don't know if you guys, uh, Tyler, if you knew that, but there's QR codes in the book. You can scan them and you can watch videos. It's pretty sweet. What else is in here? There is some instant stuff in here, of course. Look at that. Boom, instant photography. It's like, how, how many pages? hundred and some pages? Oh, I do, um, or I did a little review of cameras that I like. Part one. <laughs> some of the cameras I use. Uh, with QR codes to the reviews I did of it. But I hadn't done this, the wide camera, um, at the time of making this book. But now there's a video of it. So, you know. Uh, what else is, what other, oh, here we go. So yeah, actually, this is great. This is a great example. I was, I was trying to mention it earlier. So this photo right here, this was this is SX SX70 film. That looks just like 600 film. Like there's no nothing special about that. I mean, it's a great photo. Don't get me wrong. I liked it. Got some blue skies. Um, it looked great. But like I could shoot a 600 film and get the same look. So because actually all these are that's 600. That's 600. <laughs> That's 600. That's eye type, but yeah, like that's 600, 600 eye type. Like there, I don't see a difference. Just don't. But is it bad? No, it's not bad. Don't give me, don't 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 twist my words, people. <laughs> uh, what interests me most about this exciting film is that having lower ASA than 600 results. Getting finer grain in detail. That is not a good, but that is not a question, but it is something. Sure. No, that's something we talked about earlier. Um, you're absolutely correct. But, like, you try to, wish I had that one, well, that, I don't have it handy. Like, this was shot at night. I shot this at night. This is 600. Like, you don't really see, like, it's a little washed out, too. Is my camera not set right? Why is it so washed out? There we go. That's a little bit better. I think I have my camera setting wrong, but you don't really see grain in that. Like it's preference, I guess. I don't see grain. Just saying. <laughs> um, I know. I, I guess I am sounding out like sounding like I don't like SX any film or like anti, but I'm I'm not. Um, I'm not. Definitely not. And I will be doing a comparison. This isn't alcohol, by the way. This is a. Burritos. I've never had this flavor before. It's grapefruit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't really drink soda anymore. Um, but I have been the last few days, which is probably a bad thing. Too much sugar. But um, I don't. I don't. I don't dislike SX Any Film. It's just not my preferred format to shoot. So there's that too. Uh, there was another thing. I think I skipped over it. I did not. I think I skipped it. There was somebody talking about it. Oh well. Um, yeah, so, what do you guys think about P.O. Box? 
Should I do it? I think it'd be fun. Like, I think it'd be pretty fun. Do like, uh, Mail Mondays. Monday's Mail. I used to do Monday's Mail on a uh, other channel I had. Uh, it's called Toy Kings. It's still around, actually. I don't I don't post anything on it anymore. But um, I did, we, we would do uh, Monday's Mail, but it was stuff that we've bought. I, I used to do it here, too. I haven't done a, uh, what was it called? Mail Time. I used to do Mail Time on this channel. I would do live streams to talk about stuff that would come in the mail. I haven't done that in a long time. But maybe I should start doing it again, but with your guys' stuff. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, is this is SX70 if SX, if man, come on Chris read if it goes away I can shoot on the SLR 680 but I did shoot 600 round film with an ND filter on manual focus SX70 camera which is good results so there are options true yeah absolutely I the round stuff that woo that is some good film that is some great color in that stuff like oh my gosh beautiful and I've been on the hunt for it. I mean I can go buy it at directly from Polaroid but like I've been out uh, at stores recently especially yesterday uh, and I man I cannot find that stuff at all all my stores are cleaned out bummer love to see some Mexican snacks <laughs> yeah so there's a couple Mexican restaurants nearby that I love going to and um, I had ordered um, through DoorDash like a couple weeks ago actually uh, and I ordered the uh, Haritos. I think I'm saying that right. Um, the lime, lime one's pretty good, but I think they were out because I got this and then I just never drank it. So I was like, that's not what I wanted. But I opened it today. I'm like, oh man, it's pretty good. Ah, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. What time is it? Okay. Paranoid. I'm gonna like forget. Let's <laughs> hit record on that thing. It's right there. It's, I can actually visually see if they start. So I can't record on that. Whoa! What's up from Japan? What's going on? What brings what brings you by? Yeah. So I have some fun, cool videos coming soon. I have a sponsored video, the first of its kind. Well, the first actual sponsored sponsored video. And it'll be in February. Um, but the cool thing is, it's a, on a product that I actually like. Like I'm not, I'm not just doing it because hey, they're like want to sponsor. I actually like it a lot, and I found a fun, cool, unique way to incorporate it into uh, a fun project that you guys hopefully will enjoy. I think it's pretty cool, uh, and that is how to. Okay, I'll just show you now. Why not? I have it right here. <laughs> um, that is how to copy your Polaroids. Check this out. So, here's this one that I showed you earlier of that gas station. And then, here's the copy. Psych. <laughs> this is the copy. <laughs> I got ya. Not really. But, um, yeah, I uh, think it's pretty sweet. I scanned it in, this one, with the Epson scanner. And I took a that printer that I did a review on, the, I can't pronounce the company's name, Laney, Laney, I think is how you say it, and printed it out at full scale. It's pretty cool, I think. Make some copies of them and give them away. And I'm actually including some of these in people's book orders. But if you pre-ordered it, I'm including some random goodies in the purchases. So if you want to get in on that, I got two left, two of them, link in the description. Uh, and that's, that's, that's all I'm going to do of this one. However, if you guys did, uh, get one, or if you guys remember the video, you may notice it says volume one. I'm actually doing a second volume of this. Uh, it's on my hometown and I didn't do the video right. So the next, when I do volume two, I'm going to, uh, do it more proper. Um, I didn't show, I should have taken you to the, to my hometown and shot a video and showing it off on video. I, what, what's wrong with me? I, why didn't I do that? Uh, so I'm gonna be doing that for volume two, but this is, this book is 100% in photography, um, and it is pictures from around my hometown. Like, here's a one of the few neon signs left in my hometown. A little cool motel, um, and then it, this is basically like a like a field guide essentially. 
So it's like handwritten notes and stuff in there. It's pretty fun. And uh, this, this is a small town that I grew up in. It's called Hazeldale. We have Baskin Robbins. Uh, there's some other cool ones in here. I want to show all of them. Uh, where is it? Like the main strip there, Highway 99. Hazeldale. But yeah, I shot with all sorts of different formats. Polaroid, in, uh, Insects, Fuji. Insects, Fuji? Fuji, Insects. Uh, mini. Did I include mini? Mostly square and wide. I don't think I included minis in here. I might in volume two. But there's so many cool places that I didn't want to... I couldn't fit them all in one book. Because um, I wanted to make a book that was a lot more affordable than my previous book. Um, that way a lot, of you, a lot of you guys could get in on this. Uh, so I'm splitting it up into two separate books. Uh, so this is just volume one. I had a point to all that, but anyway. Two, two, only two left. Two left. Gone forever, kind of. Not really. Uh, whoa, do it. Oh. Do it so you can do unboxings. I mean, yeah. I want to. Uh, wish we have companies like Brooklyn Film here in Mexico so I can refurbish my sonar. Ooh, yeah. You could, I mean, you could, do, do they send over, over the border there? Couldn't, couldn't you just send it to them? You know what's crazy? And I'm very disappointed <laughs> in myself. I didn't know they existed when I was in Brooklyn. I and technically didn't make it to Brooklyn. I walked half of Brooklyn Bridge to shoot that photo and I'll turn back. I had no idea that they were over there. There was Lomography in, over there too, but they were closed. Because uh, this was like peak COVID. This is 2020, August of 2020. But but I think, but Brooklyn was open. They were doing like half days or whatever. And I wish I'd known about them. I would have gone over there. For only heard good things about that place. What is this black magic? I know. Pretty sweet. I mean, it's not as thick, but I have some ideas for that for a fun video um, to get a little, get a little crafty. Um, and I also use black magic cameras. <laughs> it's only black magic camera. There's a joke there, right? Awesome! I know, right? Nice! I know. But um, yeah, yeah. Someone, uh, I saw a comment earlier, right when I was hitting live. It's only 410. I'm so paranoid that I'm going to forget to hit record. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So but before I went live, uh, I was looking at some comments on YouTube, and they were asking about a tutorial on how to make you know, books and where I use, what, how do I make them, essentially. And I am going to do that. But who I use, um, and they're not a sponsor by any means. I've, just, I've been using them for a few years now for several different projects. Um, but I use Blurb. Uh, so if you guys want to get a quick sneak peek of that blurb is great super awesome um and these are eight by ten books yeah just look at the size difference <laughs> of these books yeah this is the base of a book um and they're still not like crazy expensive to make like like if you were to do a uh a photo book this is technically not a photo book these are trade books right i think that's what they call them so they are like matte paper but the quality is superb um but if you were to do a like hundred and some pages of a photo book you're looking at like a two three hundred dollar book easy um but these i'm i mean they're still I can't remember how much they are like normal like normally but i mean i'm selling these for 60 bucks it's like yeah, i'll give you an idea they're not too bad and i try to get the cost down as much as possible and i'm selling these ones for 35 um so 35 or 30 i can't remember now Ooh, i think the 35 but it's a it got, they have a super easy to use program and i pretty much just use photoshop anyway for all of it and then just imported each page uh, manually um nice to do it that way just made it a lot easier um but yeah, if you guys want to see a video on how I make books so you can do your own, make your own zines, definitely. And they even have smaller sizes. I just like, I like to make them bigger. I just think it's cool. Uh, something about seeing a Polaroid that's like, I mean, yeah, true to size is nice, but like blowing them up, like, I don't know, I think that's pretty sweet. I don't know about you. It's pretty sweet. I have a bunch of them like that in here too. 
Instax wide. Woo! It's pretty cool. I gotta sneeze. Oh, it went away. Oh, no. Oh, that's the worst, right? You have to sneeze and it goes away like, right when you're about to. Oh! Uh, sorry, I know this is off topic, but I was just uh, been aware to be careful with film when going through TSA because x-ray machine is something that you have considered experience. I've talked about it before. Um, I've even talked about it in a video. Um, but I'll talk about it now. Man, I still have to sneeze, but it's not going away. But I can't. Woo! Um, in my expired film uh, video I did last year on during my Halloween special, I talk about this. I've even pre-shot a video a couple years ago of me going through TSA um, and recorded it, <laughs> uh, but I never released that video uh, for reasons that I can talk about later if you want. But um, if you're scared about having your film scanned, uh, have it hand checked. Just put it. Make sure your film is just in a plastic bag. It speeds things up. Throw it in like a, a gallon bag. Hand it off to uh, a TSA and say, "I want this hand checked." And they'll just hand check it and it won't go through the x-rays and you'll be totally fine. Now, um, I have ex done an experiment um, with this where I've taken a film out of its little, you know, pop tart wrapper <laughs> and uh, put it through the x-ray machine. No, no protection. It's out of the box. It's right there. I traveled to Ohio uh, with several packs of film and that one I did not use. I ended up not using it. So instead of having to hand check, I put it back through again. So it was scanned, yeah, with, with zero protection. I doubt this even protects it, right? I don't think it does anything. But it was open pack. Put it on an airplane flu. There, believe it or not, there's radiation up there. <laughs> there's x-rays in the air. Uh, and so uh, it and flew back twice and it got scanned twice. Shot the photo and, or shot the pack of film. Let's see if I can, I don't have it. Dang it, it's downstairs. I have it on the fridge. It's perfect. The photos that came out of there, mwah, beautiful, no issue whatsoever. It was iType film, uh, if you guys are wondering. It was Stranger Things, expired film by like three years. It's perfectly fine. Now, SX70 film, you might be different because it's a different ISO or ASA, if you will. But no, I, I have run through some tests with that and so far, no problems. I've had, uh, I've scanned multiple types of insects I've done square and wide, um, and no problems whatsoever. So, hopefully that helps, it helps you out there. No, that's a bummer. Oh, about the not being able to send it over. That is a bummer. Uh, Brook Brooklyn sends sends to me here in Toronto. That's closer. Toronto to uh, Brooklyn is not that far, um, even though it is over the border, northern side. Um, but sending from Brooklyn to Mexico, even the nearest point is still pretty far away. So that's gonna be, it's gonna be a little lot more expensive. I would assume, I would assume. So maybe Brooklyn doesn't because of that. Uh, they do send to Mexico. Oh, nice. Uh, the thing is that the cost of shipping, yeah, it's, it's a little bit too high usually to pesos a dollar value. Guess I'll just have to save up some money for it. Well, how often do you come up to the states? <laughs> Maybe go there in person, or there is retrospect. They're 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 a thing. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on them. I haven't heard anything bad about them in recent, in the past like recent years. I guess in the early days of them, they weren't so great, but they're they're available too. Maybe look into that. I know for repairs and stuff though, they don't they charge you a flat fee regardless of what it is. So that's kind of a bummer. Actually, it's a big bummer. Um, what was the outcome of the poll right now plus replacement just decided it's just stick to that with the, with the I mean I can't even speak today man um if you didn't see it I did post an uh, update on um, what happened there is a video um I think I posted that in in November early December somewhere in there um I talked to them we zoomed chatted with them they sent me a replacement camera uh, but it was worse. The, uh, not only did it still have the exposing, expose, man, I cannot talk, exposing issues, 
Um, but now it was a new thing was implemented, which was the autofocus wasn't quite working very well. And I show examples of that in that video. And I, and I reported it to Polaroid prior to uh, releasing the video, but they're like, yeah, sorry. Um, that was the end of it. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the short version. If you want, if you want to know more, you can go check out that video. If you like. Sweden instant photography, beer, yes or no? Wait, what? It's a Sweden. Are you in Sweden? Like if I ever come to Sweden? Beer. I'm not a big beer guy. I will say that. No, maybe because you saw this. This is a Haritos Mexican Hispanic drink. Super good. Um, I'm not a big beer guy. I like cider. And I love my whiskey and rum and vodka for my hard stuff. Not much of a beer guy. But anyway, I would love to go to Sweden, though. <laughs> I have a passport. You paying? Flying me out? <laughs> uh, uh, quick non-X SX70 question. Okay, shoot. Uh, insects wide or insects square? Uh, for beginners. Like, which one should you start with? That's a good question. I, um... Good thing to bring that up. Because that can address one other thing that's popped up recently. So I I like both square and wide. They I, I think they're great. I don't shoot a lot of square anymore, even though I have a huge ton of it in down on my fridge. I have a film fridge over there. Like I have easily 150 photos <laughs> ready to go, not packs like total. I think I have like a 60 pack and then a stack of other like 10 packs. Like there's a lot of square in there, and I just one day just stopped shooting it. I don't know why, but I did. Um, uh. And I, I love it, and I love the wide stuff, like, a lot. I really do. Um, I just kind of started focusing on Polaroid out of nowhere what, last year. Got fixated on it. Comes down to camera, probably. Be, uh, being able to sh see through the lens is a huge. But uh, for beginners, maybe start with whatever the film stock is cheaper. That's what I would go with. And honestly, right now, though, I think they're about the same. Uh, square... I mean, both of them have some pretty good cameras to choose from, but this is where it gets interesting. I tend, I send people to go pick up the Lomo Instant Square, the glass. Wait, Lomo Instant Square glass, whatever the name of that is. Great camera. However, they're all of a sudden disappeared almost off the face of the planet. Like even on eBay, there's like nothing. And I recommend that. It's in my recommendation list for cameras to buy. Like Even from Lomography, they don't have it listed anywhere. You can't buy it on Amazon. It just kind of like disappeared. So I'm wondering if that camera is discontinued and everyone is just hanging on to it now. Um, but it's a super good camera. Um, if you can get that one, I'd go there. Um, or Lomography does have a decent wide camera. I really like. It has a remote. It's really sweet. I've done videos on both. Um, so for beginners, um, hmm. Maybe square, just for the form factor. Because uh, uh, Fuji has that square SQ6, I think it's what it's called. That's a uh, not too much of a chungus of a camera. The wide cameras are super chungus. Like, they're, they're, they're big. I think my cat's trying to get down now. <laughs> She's, I, can only, I can see through the blind. She's behind. I can see a shadow of her just backing up. I wish I could have it. I wish I had a camera over there that I could show you. Oh, I could. I might. By the, no, never mind. I have another camera right there, but by the time I get situated, she's going to fall. Anyway, got distracted. But maybe go with the square for beginners. I think I'd start there. There we go. Uh, I did see the video, but I uh, didn't know if you got a third or just decided to just forget it. Oh, yeah. That was it. That was the end of it. I waited a little while, too, before making that just to see what they'd say. But, yeah, they weren't. They weren't too helpful, unfortunately, um, at, at least with this issue. See, the thing was, they, like, I bought it. It wasn't sponsored. I bought the camera, then they, <laughs> I bought the camera, uh, had these issues, contacted their, just their normal customer support. I was like, hey, look, do I have a dud of a camera? I'm having a lot of major problems, um, and then didn't hear anything for like several days then i heard back um with generic like customer service response probably from a script 
uh, asking about like the film, how it was stored. They didn't care about the camera. They were just like, how was the film stored? It's probably the fifth film's fault. And then I told them, that's when immediately was like, hey, told them who I was. And like, hey, I had a YouTube channel. I did a video and here's, here's a link to it if you want to check it out. And, um, <laughs> and then they ignored all of that stuff and wanted to know how I was shooting it. Like beginner basic stuff. I'm like, okay, they got to cover their butt. By the end of that thing, it was just like, here's a free pack of film for your troubles. It was the film's fault. They closed the customer ticket, and that was the end of it. And then on, uh, like, weeks later, I get a message directly from Polaroid on Instagram, and they wanted to chat with me, and they said they watched the video. The video um, got uh, had, has gotten a lot of views um, for, for my channel, my channel size, I'd say. It's sitting at, like, twelve or 13,000 views. So... I'm wondering if they were starting to get a lot of <laughs> emails, even though they told me they never they didn't get a single one, which was dumb. But anyway, I bought that camera, and then they said they, uh, they could, I could send it back and they'd give me another one. But what happened was that I sent my camera back. They sent the camera to one of their techs or sales reps. They tested it and then sent it to me. But it's worse. Like, the autofocus doesn't work half the time. And I've, I've done side-by-side -side shots with other cameras. No problems except for that one. So... I told them that, and they're like, mm -hmm. and then that was the end of it. Very unfortunate. Come on now. Oh. Yes, I know you on Instagram. We chat. How's it going? Uh, what's your opinion about the Insects Wide Link or printers? I think they're super cool, and they're, they have a place. I don't have it. Um... I don't know if I'll get it. Maybe if it's on sale or something, because it's a that printer, the wide printer is a hundred and fifty U.S. dollars. That's a lot of money just to print something from your phone. I don't know. That's the same as a little pricey. But um, maybe if it's on clearance, or if I get a good deal on it, or if I get sent one for review. I did. Call, I did reach out to uh, Fuji to see about working together to get get like a press kit or something, but I never heard back from them. Um, so unfortunately, but I, I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that up. I don't think it's I'm the right audience or person, mar, uh, customer. That's what I'm looking for. For that, uh, however, I still like to do videos on those type of products because just because I'm not the right, you know, customer doesn't mean you are not. Um, you can do some super creative things with it though. I have seen some people do some cool stuff with those printers. Um, like some really sweet stuff. Things you're like, wait, how do you how do you how do you do that? Some pretty th new things, but it's stuff I don't really, I don't do it enough to justify spending that kind of money on it. I, I, I was questioning buying the Polaroid Lab when I did, yeah, that was one hundred and twenty dollars. Um, but I'm glad I did because I've been able to do some cool things with it. I highly recommend people looking into that. Getting a Polaroid Lab comes in handy for sure. Uh, just got my first ever Polaroid. Nice! It's the Now Plus. Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully you have some good results with it. Uh, and now, don't know whether to keep it or buy a different one. Watch lots of reviews on it, and there's lots of negatives. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yes, that camera has had problems. <laughs> um, I would recommend, if you want to stay in the iType camera world, uh, pick up a Polaroid now, the regular one, or get a One Step Plus. One Step Plus is basically the same camera as the Now Plus. If you haven't seen my video comparing them two, I did do a video um, not too long ago, so it's just a few videos back. I think I released that in December. Yeah, I think it was a, a December video, maybe a November video. I don't know. It's not too it's not too far back. Um, but I would go there and I give you some options. Or alternatives to that camera. Uh, the only square camera in my country is the SQ1. Uh, would you still recommend F Square or Fuji 300 for 100 or Lomography Wide? I, I did a video on the Lomography Wide a couple years ago in 2020. Yes, in 2020. And I was a little harsh on it, but. That camera's grown on me. I don't own the camera. It was sent to me um, by Lomography on loan. And it, it does have some quirks, such as this weird vignetting. 
uh, around the images and it adds a cool effect to it for sure but you don't really want that on all of them do you maybe it's a preference um but 150 bucks for the wide yeah that, that is expensive have you tried checking like um other sources like facebook marketplace offer up i don't know if you or what country you have if you have those types of things um but maybe pick up a used one because I, I see the square or the the wides pop up on facebook marketplace for like 80 bucks i'm like oh should i get one i kind of miss it i love the, the 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 ability to have it on a remote you can set it up with the size of wireless remote and just take a picture that's so freaking cool um and the other with the fuji 300 you can't do that i don't even know if it has a self timer i don't think the 300 has a timer it might i've never used that one um but the sq1 that's the one that looks like the original instagram logo right it's like the pink not pink but like rose gold or whatever um i've never used that one either <laughs> I've, I've only used like one or two square cameras um but the sq6 is i think their newest or the latest one you can get and um that one maybe looking to get in that one if you, if you can but yeah hopefully that helps Record later. What time is it? Right now. Thank you. <laughs> One minute away. <laughs> but they're not live yet, so I don't have to push it. I only have to hit record once they're live. But in one minute, they're live. So I just gotta go push record. So if I disappear for a second, that's why. But thank you so much. I almost forgot. Almost forgot. Um, Insects Wide Printer is addictive uh ooh, I, I can i can imagine uh bought full price and i can't stop using it print from iphone canon 90 and art that is pretty sweet it is cool it is really really handy uh and um i could see myself having a good time with it but it's a lot of money it's a lot of money some a lot of other stuff i like to do with that money <laughs> for sure all right i gotta keep an eye on this thing Dang, there's already 3,000 people waiting to watch this live stream. Does that say 3,000 or three? Yeah, 3,000 people. That's crazy. Well, hey, if you guys want to learn NFTs, it's called BFF. Gwyneth Paltrow is going to be there. Mrs. Iron Man is going to be on this thing. But, until then. So, um... Uh, what else can I tell? There was something else I was going to talk about besides this. Oh, Policon. I'm, I'm still, I'm more, more than likely still going. <laughs> I'm actually going to try and get uh, my trip sponsored by this company, um, this printer company that I did a video on uh, a couple months ago. And I think I have a fun idea that they might be on board for. And maybe I can schmooze them to help pay for some of the cost of me getting down there. Okay, they're not live yet. Um, so that's uh that'd be that's i'm really excited i really want to go to that i think it'd be super fun i could drive down there it'll only be like nine hours if you guys don't know what policon is well i don't exactly know 100 percent either to be honest it's um it sounds like a convention right from the name but i guess it's more of like a meetup and you like go around and you shoot photos and you uh go to like and you do like walks to like other camera stores it seems really fun uh and i would love to go and shoot some you know stuff for the channel i think you guys would like that and all that jazz but um it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be an expensive trip down there if i drive um i have to either rent a car or take my car but my car doesn't get great gas mileage i've done it before i've driven down there um further um and it was probably about 600 dollars in gas <laughs> just to get down there with the car i have man they're not live yet what's going on who my cat is falling my cat is falling. Oh gosh, I hope she doesn't rip my blinds down. All right, hang on, let me go fix my cat. <laughs> fix my cat. <laughs> you crazy cat. Yeah, I know. Uh, there we go. I don't want her like claw and rip my freaking blinds down. 
Uh, if you had to choose only two sizes between instant photography, which two would I choose? Ooh, insect wide, square, regular, Polaroid. Mm, I would go, it's actually pretty easy for me, to be honest. I would go Polaroid, um, 600, you know, the normal size, and insects wide. Those are like my two main ones I shoot anyway. So those would be the ones I'd go with. Um, yeah. And also, they're basically the same size of photo, right? Turn this one on its side, and it's pretty much the same size as a Polaroid. So they fit in the same albums, kind of. You have to kind of look sideways, right? <laughs> but yeah, I uh, those are my two favorite formats. Yeah, hey, why aren't they live yet? They're three minutes past. Gotta keep an eye on that. That's my job. But, yeah, anyway, Policon, I'm, I'm excited to go. I think it'd be really fun. And I'm trying to come up with cool things to give you guys, just for free, fun creations. I think some of these, like, prints, copies of, of stuff would be pretty fun. Um, I have an idea for my dark slides. I've been saved, I saved all my dark slides, pretty much, that I've ever used. Just stacks and stacks of the Polaroid dark slides. And I, um... I wanted to do something cool with those, like, like maybe draw on there, but I can't draw very well. So I thought maybe it would be fun just to doodle something and just give them out for people. I use them as like almost like business cards or calling cards or whatever for my channel. And give them to the people that show up. You know, stuff, something like that. I think it would be pretty fun. Just be able to interact with you guys. I'm excited. I gotta start looking into that soon. Maybe probably next month I will look at travel expenses in... Um, yeah, travel expenses pretty much. Hotels. <laughs> Policon. So, it's usually in Texas. And I think, like Denton, Texas, I think, or something like that. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, they have, they have a timer going. In three minutes, or two and a half minutes, they're live. Okay. Um, it's usually in Texas, but they're doing another one, or maybe it's a... I don't know exactly, but this one is going to be in San Francisco, California, in March, March 19th through the 23rd or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, it's somewhere in that, that, that range, but I've never been to one, so I'll be pretty excited. And I think I could do some really fun road trip content and videos and photo shoots along the way. Um, so I'm like, God, I gotta make that, I gotta make that work. It'd be really fun, but I have to do it by myself. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, would you recommend someone going over to Instax if Polaroid is too expensive? Well, yeah, always. Instant photography is instant photography. Absolutely. I, 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 I didn't shoot Polaroid for a while because of the price. Um, I was shooting on. Just eye type film, and I'm like, oh man, eight photos for that price. It took it took me a while to really just dive into it. It wasn't until I got an SLR camera when I fell in love with the the format. I'm like, it was therapeutic, man. It is all of it's therapeutic for me. So I'm like, you know what? I could spend thousand dollars on therapy or thousand dollars thousand dollars on film. It's 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 a while to do it, <laughs> but. Um, but no, if yeah, if it's too expensive, don't, 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 don't shoot it. Go to Instax. It's still the same thing. Or heck, don't even use the film. You can go over to um, um, some of those instant fo uh, pr uh, paper uh, cameras. I've done videos on those. Uh, I did one on a Kodak that was, it was good. It wasn't amazing, but it, it was good and it's fun. It's a lot cheaper option than film. Uh, it was the Kodak Retro Classic. I think it's called oh, okay I got 30 seconds I got hit, hit record and that's another option as well it's just you take a photo it just prints it out onto um, a dye sublimation paper it's pretty cool um, and it's still instant photography so that's another option don't it doesn't have to just be film you know our community can be a little can be a little critical all right I hit record <laughs> record Oh no, an error occurred. What? That's not good. Yeah. Options. 
Hang on, I'll be right back. Something bad happened. stressful it's go it's good we're good we only missed like two minutes I think of the <laughs> of it but we really were just using it for something else not for the actual thing it was more of a redundancy than anything but we're good to go sorry about that um, there you go I'm back uh, uh, do you have any suggestion on SX70 filters was the mints the one with plastic lens worth it filters for oh yeah so no, um, there are so yes and no. There are other options, um, but the, the so no means there's not the, there's not that's not the only one. Are you talking about like the things that go on the front of your camera, like the um, lenses and things? Because there is one called the X thirty seven. Yeah, yeah, X thirty seven adapter. I did a video on it, um, and you can thread on different lenses, and you can put filters on there too. Um, so there's that, which is pretty cool. Somebody makes them. They're on Etsy. Uh, they're 
uh, pretty high quality. It is 3D printed, um, uh, but I haven't had any complaints or problems with mine. And you just you can buy lenses on Amazon. Um, they're really sweet. They're in a, a very inexpensive way. But Mint also has a filter set you can do. That one is fixed to just that set. There's no real customization you can do with those. Pros and cons, I guess, to both. But there you go. Making sure that's still going. We're good. It's recording. <laughs> like, yeah, one job, Chris. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but anyway. So yeah, that's that. Um, you guys have any other questions before we wrap on up out of here? I know I had to step away for a minute, but um, let me know if you have any uh, thoughts or concerns more on SX-70 film. But um, I've got some really cool things coming on the pipeline that I can't wait to share with you. Things you can get your hands on, such as, is this the right one? Yeah. If you become a member, you can get photos sent to your door every single month. It's pretty sweet. And it supports the channel. Uh, as you guys know, if you shoot into photography yourself, it's expensive. It adds up. And so I use a lot of film. So just if you want to sign up, it helps pay for my film to use in the videos. <laughs> so there's that. And plus you can get something in your hands every single month, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and those for this month go out very soon. So if you sign up today or tomorrow, you can actually get in on those for this month. So that, there's that. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brooklyn Film Camera is selling the X37 collab with them. Indeed they are. It is um, a super cool product. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I, I got mine technically secondhand from somebody else and... Uh, I've been using the heck out of it, travel with it, and it's still like it's brand new. Uh, and it doesn't scratch the camera either, which is nice, in my experience. Uh, may, results could vary if you're really rough on it, <laughs> but um, I really, really like it. Can't, can't recommend it enough. A few people from Mexico um, in here today. That's awesome. And, some, and from Italy. There were some few people from Italy earlier. That's really freaking sweet, too. Um, but yeah, anyway, so like I was saying, if you want to support the channel, feel free, link in the description. There's a lot of stuff in the description if you want to check it out. Um, like the Discord, which I'm going to be doing a uh, photo contest in there starting in February. And you can win some prizes. Let's get to something kind of small, Amazon gift card or pack of film. Not sure exactly what yet, um, but something like that. And it's going to be voted upon you guys. You guys are going to vote on which one which photos should you know win i'll probably pick the um the initial like batch and then let you guys vote on the finals it'd be very fun i can't wait and then i want to start including those photos like in my videos i want to start share showcasing you guys I, yeah i think that'd be very fun well, i think okay i think i know what this is you're talking about the um the little thingy that goes on or uh, on the top of it. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'm blanking what it is exactly. You're talking about the the um, the, the, the doesn't mint do it? I've heard of this. Now I'm blanking where it's from. What, how I know it? Right. Give me a refresher. I think it's the um, it's a little uh, adapter, right? That goes on to where your flash would right here. Is that what you're talking about? Or am I thinking of something different? So yeah, those are my thoughts. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah. So, what was I saying earlier? Oh yeah. Anyway, things. If you, want, if you want to help support the channel, you can, you know, check out the links in the description. I don't really plug stuff. I'm not very good at plugging stuff, as you guys can tell. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's been a, it's been a busy week too. I'm pretty, pretty tired. What else do we have coming down the pipeline? Um, and I'm like trying, I'm like trying, I need, I need to wrap this up because I'm making sure that's still recording. I'm kind of like trying to do two things at once. But I also wanted to, uh, wait for a little bit for Eric here to, uh, refresh my memory, refresh my memory on the SX-70 project. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Isn't it a little thingy? I don't know, I could be wrong. But, while we, while we wait there, I need to get food. I haven't eaten today. I need to wrap up and eat food and watch this. Uh, virtual summit that we are doing with my uh, day job, my uh, my yeah, I guess my day job. <laughs> but 
I guess I'll wrap it up now. Wait, where's I have this? I have something cool. Yeah, there we go. Woo! See, this is why I want to start showcasing your guys' photos. Right off the, right down there. I want to start sharing your photos, and you can get your name in there. That'd be pretty fun, right? It's pretty sweet. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, it's basically mint, but you can take double exposures and self timer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's the um, um it's a time machine by Mint. They originally named it. The, originally, it was the Open uh, SX70 project. But they named it the Time Machine, right? I, I know stuff. <laughs> An open source. Interesting. Maybe it isn't the same thing, but pretty close to what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Um, I didn't, however, like the... Um, no, it's not true. I did like the camera, the, um, the SX, the SLR 670S. But it wasn't for me, for my style of instant photography shooting. The manually sh the manually controlled and all that. I, 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 I already have digital cameras and all that sort of thing for that. I don't want to th think too much that makes sense when I shoot instant photography I explained it uh, in that video of and why I was selling it and everything but it's a great camera I think it's super neat and it comes in handy as multiple times when I've been out shooting I'm like gosh it'd be so cool just to have this little thing you know just for just for this one shot that'd be so cool because if you're looking right into the Sun you're I mean, I'm like no I need, to, I need to tell my camera that I'm not exposing for that I'm exposing for the shadow that's where that thing comes into play and it's super cool but um yeah there he is where you been where are you coming at the end coming at the end you didn't bring dinner to the stream no i didn't bring dinner to the stream i am s and you guys know like like i've done this multiple times where i've streamed for like six hours before and like on no food it's not it's not pretty <laughs> um nope different people for what Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Have you checked out the Diana? No, I haven't. Um, and I want to. It looks interesting. And there's also another camera company, NOS, NOS camera. I think so. I think it was. And they're doing a square SLR style camera, which just looks pretty cool. That one I'm really excited. They already have the Insects Mini one, but I'm more intrigued with the square. Um, so that one I'm keeping my eye on and probably going to pick up. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> we stream later on the East Coast. I don't know. Sometimes you're you're streaming at like midnight here, my time. So it's like 3 a.m. your time. Do you even sleep? I don't know. I don't know. You guys don't. I don't even know if you sleep. Um, but no, the Diana Instant. I've been very curious about trying myself. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Open Asking 70 was created by Joaquin D. Prada. Did I say that right? I usually butcher names. And other collaborators for people who use as an alternative to me. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's not for me though. That stuff isn't for me. Like, if I think it's super interesting, fascinating, and and cool, you know, and, and it, it's very intriguing. But it doesn't fit my needs. I I, I want to. I, I do enough of the digital stuff, all the settings, and focusing on trying to get that just right. I love taking a break from that and just picking up one of these bad boys, looking through this thing and pushing one button and I'm done. It's super relaxing for me not to have to think about it because my day job, I'm worried about all that stuff all the time. So I like taking a break from that. It costs money that way, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Nons, that's what it's called. Yeah. That's what I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one for sure. Polographic magazine. You have a magazine? I want to check that out. Where do I where do I find that? Or, or is it just your username? If you're on Instagram, tag me in something or, or message me on Instagram. I'm, I'm curious. I want to look at that magazine. I thought about doing a zine, like a monthly, but it's so much work. Maybe quarterly. Ooh. Well, I kind of already do a quarterly thing. Yeah, I got my book. But I could do a smaller version and charge way less. Do like a quarterly zine with your guys' photos. Like, I need more work on my plate. Man, I got so much freaking stuff to do. This is the longest outro ever. This thing has looped like 50 times. <laughs> um, but, yes, the NOS SL42, that, I, that I've got my eyes on it. I don't know when it comes out. I follow them on Instagram. Hopefully it's not too expensive. 
my guess is it will be um because i want to say then the other one the mini one was like 250 which was pretty good it's pretty good i have a feeling this one is going to be like 500 bucks it looks badass too it looks really cool so hopefully that one maybe i can talk to them maybe they can send me a demo that'd be awesome um there's also another company that's doing something cool too but i haven't, heard, I haven't seen anything from them in a while so they're probably i don't know what's going on with them but anyway guys i should probably wrap it up i need to get food and all that jazz so i gotta make sure that's still recording it is um great thank you guys so much for watching consider subscribing if you haven't done so already that'd be great and if you want to become a member like i was saying helps support the channel helps buy my film to make my videos for you and you get something sent to your door every single month which is pretty sweet that's all i got for you today i'll get out there make some more i'll see you soon that's like losing my voice <laughs> that's the one that's the one. That was the one I was just talking about. I haven't seen anything from them in a long time. Is it still happening? I don't know. You tell me later because I'm, I'm closing this out. Bye.